look around. How much did you expend to discover me? It must have weakened the Inquisition immeasurably. I don't know who you are. You don't fool me. I'm too important for this to be an accident. My efforts will survive in victories against you elsewhere. Just say what? What is the... <laughs> Ugh! Squishy one, but you heard me, right? Just say what? Rich tits always try for more than they deserve. Blah, blah, blah! Obey me. Arrow in my face. So, you followed the notes well enough. Glad to see you And you're an elf. Well, hope you're not too elfy. I mean, it's all good, isn't it? The important thing is you glow. You're the herald thingy. Some believe I'm the Herald of Andraste. But who are you, and what's this about? No idea. I don't know this idiot from manners. My people just said the Inquisition should look at him. Your people? Elves? <laughs> no. People, people. Name's Sarah. This is cover. Get round it. For the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone tipped me their equipment shed. They've got no breaches. Friends really came through with that tip. No breaches. <laughs> so, Herald of Andraste, you're a strange one. I'd like to join. How about we get to know each other first? You know, names and such. One name. No, wait, two. It's... Well, it's like this. I sent you a note to look for hidden stuff by my friends. The friends of Red Jenny. That's me. Well, I'm one. So is a fence in Montfort, some woman in Kirkwall. There were three in Starkhaven, brothers or something. It's just a name, yeah? It lets little people, friends, be part of something while they stick it to nobles they hate. So here, in your face, I'm Sarah. The friends of Red Jenny are sort of out there. I use them to help you. Plus arrows. The Inquisition has spies already. Can you add to these professionals? Here's how it is. You important people are up here, shoving your cods around. Blah, blah, I'll crush you. I'll crush you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crush you. <clears throat> then you've got cloaks and spy kings, like this tit. Or was he one of the little knives, all serious with his little knife? All those secrets, and what gave him up? Some houseboy who don't know shite, but knows a bad person when he sees one. So no, I'm not knifey shiv dark, all hidden. But if you don't listen down here, too, you risk your breaches. Like those guards? I stole their... Look, do you need people or not? I want to get everything back to normal. Like you. So who are your friends of Red Jenny? You must know them. Oh, it's not hard to understand if you're not trying to waste your day on it. Someone little always hates someone big. And unless you don't eat, sleep or piss, you're never far from someone little. Doesn't always work out, but a lot of people hated this guy. Someone got a laugh, someone got even, someone got paid. And someone has to have it explained to them that free help is good. Back there, you wanted to know if I glowed. Why? That's what you do, innit? You walked out of somewhere, and now you glow. Andraste's herald. True or not, it seemed like the easiest way to know it was you. True or not? Well, that's what they say on all. Look, don't get ahead yet. I want to help this... whatever it is. Inquisition. All right, Sarah. I can use you and your friends. Yes! Get in good before you're too big to like. That'll keep your breaches where they should be. Plus extra breaches because I have all these... You have merchants who buy that piss, yeah? Got to be worth something. Anyway, Haven. See you there, Herald. This will be grand. 
So, this is it, huh? Oh, no, it's fine, yeah? It's just, I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if you were a man, right? Wasted. Anyway, stopping wars should earn more sovereigns than this. Need things back to normal for coins to be flowing again. Another reason the Templars and Mages need to be sat down. It's not just a war between those two. Well, sure, the sky has a hole in it. But I can't put an arrow in that. Well, I have. Doesn't come down. That's weird. And that's the point, right? It's weird and right there. But they still want to punch each other. They're too busy to look up where the real questions are. That's why we're here. To help guide everyone back from the brink. The religious ones tell you that. That's important, right? But don't make it all about that. Seems like believing too hard is what got everyone here. And here is stupid. And smells of horse. Really? What everyone needs is to get everything back to normal and proper and profitable. Sound good to you, all touched Lady Herald? I think I'll enjoy having you around, Sarah. I hope you'll feel the same. Kinda. Suppose. Maybe. See you, Herald. Herald. I have to do something about that. Chasing the Lord Seeker, I hear. Anyone who thinks they need Lord in front of the name, that's bad. Bet he's got a portrait taller than he is. That's your first clue to a total ass. Fact. Tell me about yourself. Oh, yeah. Interested, are you? You're skilled. Who taught you how to use a bow? No one. That seems unlikely. What? I picked it up here and there. Mostly, it just makes sense. It's not like that for you. Usually, it takes considerable discipline. Hence my question. Hence? Look, I work at it. Practice a little. Not like Cullen and his pets. I mean, you miss, then you don't. Is it that hard to see when it's wrong? Well, it's not like that for other elves. I know that. <laughs> Most I know couldn't find an arrow sitting on it. Right. Maybe I just make it look easy and shite company. Fact still is, no teacher. Where would I find one in alleyways, anyway? <laughs> How about the basics? Where are you from? Ferelden. I got that from the accent. Where in Ferelden? All over? Okay, fine. Denimrim for a bit. South, north, wherever I want. There are no connections you want to mention at all? Nope. It's complicated. I don't like complicated. Let's leave it at that. Maybe. I'm just interested in talking to an elf like me. Mm, don't think so. Why not? Well, maybe you're all right. But most elves are too... elfy. Like that soulless, right? Never be as good as we were. Well, who's we? I'm just fine. I think there's more to it than that. A few thousand years more. Hey, someone wants to be angry about old debts, be angry. Be a terror that never lets an enemy forget. But if you're digging it up so you can wear it, that's just weird. I mean, you Dalish don't really know. You have stories, but that's all they are. It's all fancy dress, not history. We'll talk later. If you say so. Chasing mages, that's a Templar's job. A big, armored, pissed off helm polisher. Not too late to go find some. Or stay home? You apparently have a lot of friends. Tell me about your network. It's not mine, right? I mean, it is, but it's also everyone. Everyone who wants to shove it to nobles who hide behind gold and silk. And hats, I guess. Are you just about pranks and revenge, or is there more to it? Well, it's a weave, right? I grease the ballroom, so a wyvern chasing git has to hunt sprays. Strangely, handmaids leave his vault open. His heirlooms pay off someone else. Maybe clean streets in Kirkwall so someone gets something else. Pish, 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 a lot of people eventually get help or a laugh. Or maybe someone dead, if they deserve it. 
I'm glad I met you before someone decided what I deserved. You're no hate for last so far. I I'd just get you with a pie or something. Anyway, assassin's a bard's job, innit? No fun, that lot. They might plonk a noble, right? But only to raise another. Plus, I'm shy at singing. Is Red Jenny real? Or was she always just you and your friends? Dunno. Don't you care? Not if it works. I mean, Red is scary because... blood. And Jenny is... Look, nobody fears the bunch of people who do random stuff. And besides, it's easy. Nobles want a bogeyman because they need to believe normal people can't get at them. Numbers, yeah? An even spread is all it takes. Doesn't this mean people think you're guilty of more than you actually do? I suppose. Does it matter? Shouldn't it? Important people kill over imagined insults. I've made more than enough real ones, so no. I don't suppose it does. Where are the people you promised? If I knew, they wouldn't be much use. That's sort of the point. Look, unless your baddies are rocks or trees, they have people they use. Cooks, squires, wipers. Yeah, I know. Wipers, right? You better believe the one with wipers deserve it. Right in the... Well, anyway. The little people will be there when you need them. In a million little ways. So lots of little contributions add up in the background, like snowflakes that snap a branch. What? Uh, sure. Like snow, I guess. Anyway, it just works. Most of the time. Friend of a friend and little hints. Mind you, you still have to be smart. Don't bet your life unless you're into that. Risky, yeah. But you like a bit of a tease. I can play along if it works for you. You have a choice. Hey, or the Inquisition. <laughs> we'll talk another time. Ready for waiting. What do you think about the people who have gathered? Which, the ones who do things or the ones who give orders? What about Solus? Solus? <laughs> His head's crammed up a thousand years ago. Anything to say about Varric? Varric? Too clever. Always saying something, but never saying it straight. Thoughts about Cassandra? Not as buttoned up as she plays, right? Tough, though. I'd stand behind her in front of anything. What's your opinion of Vivienne? She's a bitch, but she knows. She better. What do you think about our spy master, ambassador, and commander? Liliana is pretty in places. I swear I've seen her too. Or heard she used to play. But that'd be mad. Now Josephine, she's as good at humbling her kind as I am. Just with less mess. Knows her business, if you have to have it. And Cullen. I suppose if you want a jackboot, you get a big one so you can grow into it. Nice hair, though. We'll talk later. So, Inquisitor. It is Inquisitor now, right? Remember that war we talked about stopping? Full of little badges I can stick with little arrows. That's not a friggin' archdemon, is it? Draste, what does step in? I've apparently been through a lot. But yes, Corypheus was a surprise. No, a surprise would be, oh, I stepped in dog shite. No one says, oh, a Magister God monster, I'm surprised. Impossible things aren't surprises. The ancient thing trying to kill us seems pretty real. Don't get me started. Oh, wait, too late, right? A Magister who cracked the Black City. It's a hazy dream, right? I mean, if it's real, real, then the seat of the Maker? Real thing. A seat needs a butt, so the maker? Real thing. Fairy stories about the start and end of the world? Real things. It's too much, isn't it? How pretty are you that I actually think this shite is possible? I like to hear this. The pretty part, not the overwhelmed by everything part. Oh sure, don't mind the bung rip through the heavens, love. Primp and toss and all is well. What I want is to get everything back to business as usual. A nice simple system with simple problems. Helps me, helps people, helps you. In that order, for now.
I'm hoping you'll stick around. Never know what might interest you. I suppose, yeah. That could be Lady Herald. Demon armies and wardens, and Varric has exactly who he needs. The big talker just knows everything. What do you think about the people who have gathered? Again, with your people? Right, which ones? Thoughts on Iron Bull? Huh. It makes me wonder about things. I mean, what do their women look like? Woof. Any thoughts about Warden Blackwall? He's too good, right? I'd like to see him out of that uniform. Not like that. What's your opinion of Vivienne? She's a bitch, but she knows. She better. We'll talk later. Good, right? I'll be here. Ready for waiting. So you like to have fun? The Inquisition seems an odd fit. Why are you really here? Maybe you'll be fun, yeah? And to help people. We both know that'd be easier to believe if you were a totally different person. Not everything is easy to believe. And um, maybe that's it. There's all this Andraste stuff going on, and seeing it should help, right? But it's fuzzy. I want to see if it's all really real. I just don't know if I want to really know. So I'm selfish. It's all for me. Count yourself lucky, I guess. I'll be back if I need you. Hey you, I have an Inquisitor favor to ask. Just a little thing, really. A little march around for some of your people. It's nothing for you, right? All right, let's hear what you've got. Jump right in, huh? I like that. It's a Red Jenny thing. I got a tip that some noble stiffs are arguing over Vershell. Land squabble. They're getting little people beat up. So I need you to go to your big table and send some people to walk through town. Just walk through? Just walk through. Easy, right? Was this a tip from one of your friends? Not a Jenny. Just normal angry people getting sick of being in the middle. I don't usually hear about things this far away. But having a friend like you is like getting really big ears. Bigger than normal, I guess, because we both... Never mind. Who's asking for this? I'm asking, because I heard people complaining. See, when nobles fight, it's not them. It's their little people stuck in the middle. It's like a polite war, so no one pays attention. But if you march through, the people up top feel threatened too. Stuff like this is always happening. Good sovereigns to be made if you're one of the few who notice. What does the Inquisition get out of this? Nobles think everyone is out to get them. So when your helmets march through, both sides will think the other's your ally. Both get scared, both make deals. Worst case, you get a little bump among the people just because they see you active. Can't promise anything, but something will happen. Just like always. All right, Sarah. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? Being important without doing a thing. Well, not much of a thing. Not everything has to be torn skies and ancient assholes. Every little thing makes a difference somewhere. Heard what went on in that Fade thing. What you think went on. Can't even start to believe that business. I think a lot of people are having trouble with what went on there. People going on about visions and piss when real people are gone. Dead, probably. Stroud, yeah? Lost a serious moustache there. And in trade, a busted down bunch of wardens. And they're always weird. Usually, bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. But wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerim, when the blight ended. A lot happened in Denerim. What did you see? People talked a lot about this one warden. There was a big fight and they died, or I don't know, maybe they didn't. The hero of Ferelden. You forget the hero of Ferelden. That was ages ago, 10 years. I was playing with small painted boxes and burying stuff I stole. I remember more people cringing about magic than blight. Wardens were an excuse for your stuff to go missing. Blackwall's nice though different from the adamant ones. 
need more like him. I hear Vachelle was good pay for you, Inquisitor. Time to go see if my friends came through too. Got a location for a stash. Hopefully something nice for my trouble. Well, your trouble. Just let me know when you're ready to head out. Be sure to bring your empty pockets. Who's putting up the reward for this? Don't know. Sometimes it's past the hat. Sometimes it's I lifted this from Master's vault. Doesn't matter, does it? Job done. Time to get what we're owed. I'm ready if you are. Always, yeah. My favorite part, this. Let's go see what friends can get us. Wait, this is weird. What? I was expecting a village or something. The people that leave me stuff don't trek out to places like this. Give me a city and I'll give you a tour, but surprise, surprise, I don't know stupid woods or ruins. What's that? Don't hurt me. Harmond made me do it. What's your name and why are you here? He made me come. Said I had to lead him to her because I said things. It was just bar talk. This was supposed to be a simple drop. What's going on? You're her. You're the one he's waiting for. It's her. She's here. Red Jenny. There. That wasn't so hard, was it? We identified the confusion, and we worked past it. I'm Lord Pell Harmond. I do hope, Inquisitor, that you continue to respond to reason. After all, your choice of company is hardly virtuous. Freaking user you are. Another noble prick who punches down. We're the same, you and I. Well, that is overstating it. You are nothing like me. But we both need people. You want to talk now, but Sarah is my ally. You attacked her friends. Come now. You know how much her meddling cost me? Because apparently you were complicit. Honestly. Previous to this very moment, I thought you'd also been tricked by these red jennies. Despite your foreign nature, as Inquisitor, you are a social peer. I attacked them on behalf of us both. Ass biscuit. <sighs> Quite. Inquisitor, Herald, I don't want to be your enemy. I'm barely invested in being hers. If you are willing to recognize an opportunity, we could be exceptional partners. You were up to something in Vichel, Harmond. What was it? If you mean bettering my wealth and position, I'm always seeking that. By getting people hurt? <sighs> Lady Shell Morveau and I were jockeying for the land south of Vichel. To claim land, you must populate it. My people encouraged hers to leave. Her people answered in kind, etc. Really, it was all terribly standard displacement until your troops seemed to change the balance. Well played. Stop talking to him. Really, just stop it. What would you be willing to commit to the Inquisition? Why even ask? Because a leader needs such information to make informed decisions. My family has ties across Lower Ferelden. Our presence in Orlais is recent, which is why I resorted to subterfuge. We have militia elsewhere, and they can be made expendable for your purposes. Tell the snot splash no already. Not saying again. Uh, now what was the point of that? Ugh. Mother puss bucket friggin' bastard shite bag piss face Eat it, you lop eared son of an arse not rot Sarah, piece of Sarah. Uh, What? I think you're done. At this point you're making wine. Ugh, that makes it worse. Friends, Inquisitor. Better than his lot any day. Hey you. Know what? Thanks. Felt good to stomp the smile off that pisshead's face. It doesn't go bad like that often, yeah? But when it does, they deserve it. Risky. 
But keep it within the Inquisition and I'll support you. Even though this puckered around us? Even so. Well, good then. Right, what do you mean? Because I am really not used to that acceptance thing you're doing right there. I don't want this to get in the way of you staying. I like having you here. Hmm, maybe? You're on my good side. We'll see if it lasts. You have a problem. That over there is a full tavern, but everyone's drinking alone. They're all up their own asses about the Inquisition. I can't have fun with everybody whinging, and they'll fall on their swords before Corifinus can push them. I'm thinking pranks. Set a few up, knock a few down. You win or not? You have an odd idea of preparation. I need to keep them at their best. What's best then, Mopey? Constantly ready for death to fall from the gaping hole up there. <laughs> I know people. Pissed off and fired up is better than dreary bleary. Come on. Just you and me. You know, I would like that. Sure that could work. Maybe. Let's go. Center of the Empire and all that. What to do, what to do. All right, Sarah, what do you want to do? Thing looks heavy. Don't want to move or break it. I got it, easy one. Just a slip of something under here. There, won't notice much, but it's just that little bit wonky. He's so in control that'll piss him royally. I tell one of the soldiers and boom, the general seems like people. And since he works for you, you seem like people. Come on, next one. Or something she likes too much. What, just the door? Where she greets every important idiot. Yes. Well, Sarah, what do you have in mind? Um, <laughs> get a bucket. Classic, yeah? Five minutes of sloppy boss gets you weeks of happy kitchen staff. Except for the one who cleans it up, I suppose. But whatever, next stop. What's that? A locked? No, leave that. Not interested in her hidden things. Not for just a bit of fun. Maybe feed her messengers something gassy? No, bears don't part. But they flap and... Uh... Hmm. Who is up there? Go! <laughs> that was fun. An inquisitor of the people, still remembering you're one of them. If all they got was the Herald stuff, the serious bit, you'd start to sound pretty scary. That works, but not for long. Whatever it takes. I'd start throwing pies if it kept people inspired. Pies is so good! And Corifinus would never do that. Good thing for you, innit? Because from the bottom, everyone up top sort of seems the same. It was fun chasing you, Inquisitor. Nice for you. You! Ulfric! Oh, you did it! <laughs> hey you, you have time? It's not a question, let's go. I've got something I want to do for you. Just come, you won't need your gear and stuff. With you, I'll do anything. I bet, yeah. Come on, let's do it. We're eating on a roof. They're horrible, right? And raisins, ugh. I freaking still hate cookies. You know, this is about as far from what I expected as we could get. I got caught stealing when I was little, yeah? You get alienage or worse for that, but the Lady Emerald took me in. She was sick and couldn't have children. I had no parents. It worked out. Anyway, she gets a year sicker, so I ask her about cookies. Because mums make cookies. I can pass that down or something. Turns out, she couldn't cook. She missed that talk with her mum. The one she made, she bought and pretended. Ah, oh, right? Well, no, she was a bitch. She hid buying them by keeping me away from the baker. She did that by lying that he didn't like me, didn't like elves. She let me hate so she could protect her pride. 
I hated him so much, and I hated... Well, she died, and I hate pride. Pride cookies. But this is great, you're great, so I thought maybe me and you could make some. I don't know, us cookies. Because then I could like them again. Oh, it's stupid. I don't understand. This lady Emerald was just trying to be good to you. She hurt people. It was just cookies. It was not just cookies. Lie to herself, fair play, only hurts her. But she made me think there was something wrong with me. And the baker? I made his life shit. Why not? It seemed like he deserved it. I mean, if you don't give a child a cookie because of appearances, you're a monster. Stupid pride horn noble. I know, I said it was stupid. That's why I want to get rid of it. I want to make better cookies. You know what? That would be great. See, I knew. Wait, really? Because it seemed friggin' daft every step to me. Suppose it's not really about them. I hate learning lessons. Makes my stomach hurt. Anyway, I'll throw this rubbish away. Next time we'll be better, yeah? Sarah, anytime. Can we get off the roof now? Oh, yes, please. It smells like bird and dank. This part, not a good idea. Thanks, yeah. Feels good, this. Your wish is something, something. I'd like to know more about you, now that you're comfortable. Pose. It's embarrassing enough now, may as well. Anything more to say about where you came from, aside from hating cookies there? Denerim, mostly. Before running into another Jenny. He was fun. Had weird friends, though. I think some of them were a lot more serious about being serious. Got some of them killed. I suppose they were like family. Better than Lady Emold ever was. You know why? They didn't give two squirts about who or what you were. It was all what you did. So where are the rest of them? All over. Or they stopped to let new people go all over. Some get rich and stop playing so they can do good things with it. One or two don't. Eventually, someone asks for a favor against them. It's no get like that, you hear? Denerim is a long way from Orlais. How'd you get there? By stinky horse? Sarah. Denerim wasn't much fun after the blight. Everyone trying to recover, you even feel bad for the nobles. But Val Royo, that's a fat city full of fat heads. They just don't know when to stop. You saw it. Ole is rich and stupid. Right for the pickings. So is that who showed you how to fight? Gave you your skills? Nobody gave me anything except a chance. And maybe some lessons to start, but mostly just the chance. I took that and ran. Do you remember your actual family at all? Your parents? Well, there is the amulet I had as an orphan that has a missing piece. And look at your face! You believe me? No, still no parents. I remember an alienage with assholes and hating that stupid tree. The one elves always have. Of all the things to pray at, they could at least pick one with apples. It's nice to see this side of you, that you trust me. You go blabbing around, yeah? Because I'll have a big trusting foot up your pucker. I think that after our rooftop chat, I get why you're not like other elves. Well, don't. How about we dig into what you are? Or what you're supposed to be? Do you know all about elfiness? What it takes to keep our ears all perky? Because you could be more than just that. To me, anyway. Whatever I am to you, Sarah, that's all I need. Listen to you turning rubbish into butter. Right, Inquisitor. Leave it there, for now. Can't wait, what's on? Is your network of contacts still active after what happened? After Lord Arsehole and Vichelle? Of course. 
He may have killed people, but that just means there's more who hate him. It's crap that he killed people, though. They were just trying to stand up a little. We annoyed some nobles. Does that really help all that much? Gets you paid, for one. You seem happy enough about that. I don't get what's so hard to understand. Your stuff works the same. Your Inquisition, I mean. Punch a bully, people like you. Do it because they asked, or let them think they asked. They like it even more. It's inspiring, even if it sometimes goes tits up and they take a hit back. You know, like Haven. I get it, kind of. We just don't think of what you do as that kind of inspiration. Well, we should take a good hard look at where our people come from. All the same people. It's you that's weird. I kind of like it. Surprise to me too, yeah? We'll talk another time. Back, yeah? Always good. I was thinking you and I should get to know each other. Right. You come with me. So, you've been chatting me up. I heard that, yeah? And seen the looks. That's all fun and such, out there walking around. But maybe there's more in your head. Like you want to be more? I mean, I don't usually go for elves. Feel like a, a bag of chicken necks. But yes, I like you. You're... it's good. It's nice to finally admit what we both knew was there. You've been saying it other ways. Maybe me too. But I'm tired of talking. Of everybody always talking. We're all dead this. We'll kill them that. What about what's important when you like someone? I'm in bed. We should get to your bed. Now's good. So you're not worried about me being the Inquisitor, the Herald? Did that do something to you down there? Oh, the Andraste stuff. She's not, you know, here. So, so what? Or is it because you're in charge? Because if that's a problem, I won't lose my job. Isn't that right, Inky? Really? If we're together, you'll call me Inky? What? I make fun of titles because they're stupid. But as a pet name? Oh, it's a thing with you. Well, let me have it then. Lean in like it's real dark and whisper your naked name. <laughs> no, no, I think you get teakness. Don't you want to get to know each other a bit before jumping into bed? We've been walking all over the bloody place. That's time listening, talking, watching your ass. How is real getting to know different from that? You're only counting words when I wink or something. I like you. I don't play with just anyone and I don't share. That's why we're talking now. Still talking. Do you want to stop talking? Sarah, I'm inviting you up to my chambers. No, I'm racing you there. I win. I lock the door. Come on, Teetness. Show me what you've got. <laughs> Sarah? hi -ya! Who's that? Teetness! Listen, I got your hat, but it's ugly, so I drew Criffy wants its face on it and stuffed it with apples. Everyone's hitting it with sticks! I really hope you like it. <laughs> We're giving gifts now. I want to show Sarah how I feel. Any suggestions for a good gift? You and... I see. You won't help? I can't. She's turned her back on what we should be. I have no insight in what she could want. Something human and fleeting, no doubt. I want to give Sarah a gift that shows I'm serious about her. Any idea what she would like? You, our Herald, and... Sarah? Ugh. Oh, you certainly go out of your way to make things difficult, don't you? I've no suggestions. At least none she would willingly accept, such as gaining purpose, or an actual profession. If there's nothing else, I'll get back to work. I want to get Sarah something to show I'm serious. Thoughts on the right Sarah. gift? You and her, huh? <laughs> nice. But you're right. It's hard to say what she'd want that she hasn't just taken and gotten bored with already. 
I'm drawing a blank. I'd offer positions or something, but I play a power game, and she's all about the limber. <laughs> nice catch, though, boss. Good on you. I want to show Sarah how I feel, but can't think of the right gift. Ideas? You and Sarah? Ha, ha, ha. That's a tricky one, actually. It's hard to know what she wants without knowing who she is. You should... You should give her something you think she might like. Doesn't help, I know. Good luck. I want to show Sarah I'm serious about her. Any ideas about a gift that would say it? Oh, for... Seriously. This is why you've bothered me. Just shave something rude into your privates, dear. She won't get the redundancy. Are you sure? <laughs> Anything is worth considering. Of course, my dear. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm doing anything else. I want to give Sarah a gift to show her how I feel. Any suggestions? You and Sarah, huh? Good one. That'll make some eyes twitch. A gift, though. Oh, tricky business. Is it too obscure? Is it too on the nose? Will it be taken as intended? Oh, it's a pain in the ass. I, I wouldn't worry about it. If there's something she wants, she'll say. Well, Sarah's not big on subtext. No footnotes or, you know, any words of any sort. Hi, Cheapness. What's going on? What is this? You look serious. I'm racking my brain for something you'd like. I have to admit, I just don't know. Well, that's sweet, but what are you on about? You gave me a gift, sort of. I asked everyone and still don't know what to get you in return. Wait, wait, wait. You went to everyone and said I was your lover. Right to their faces. They must have. Oh, Vivian must have. Pocket, pinky tight. Best gift ever. Well, I'm relieved. Guess I got lucky. You're about to. What, can you see the future now, too? It's got no underpants. Any chance I could talk you out of that pet name? Teetness? Really? Ah, oh, fine. Buckles. Get used to it. How are we doing, you and I? You're all right. Just like when I first laid eyes and wanted to lay other things. Laying, right? It means two things. So, back at you. How are we doing? Wondrous. Ecstatic. So good you can't talk normal. That's me being grand, isn't it? Come back soon. You better. Buckles! That time. We should drop something next time. Hey you! They brought out the booze and now a Delance is chucking guts into Lord Sumgate's helmet. You're missing the fun part. What's wrong? I'm just worn out. Tonight has been very long. Standing alone out here isn't making it any shorter. Come in, have a drink. Have some fun. We need it. You make a compelling argument. I'm in. Oh, good. It'd be no fun without you. Anyway, come on. They've got a keg of peach brandy. You can fit your whole head in. One for the Emperor. <laughs> 
for Gaspar, Brianna, the Duchess, and Corinthus, right in the dangle bag. Well, remind me to stay on your good side. Don't worry, you're sparkling compared to that lot. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one empress's arse? Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. I don't know. You want to stop a party? I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things. With their little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> Concessions, or we unleash the earwigs. <laughs> pinchy butts. Well, that was stupid. Want to go roll around until I feel better? Why are we even still talking? Good question. Shut it. Oh, hi you! Strange days, right? Weird elves and Morrigan going wading. Better her than you. Glad to be back where things make sense after the demon-worshipping lies of Mythal. When do we go after Watts' lumps? So your main takeaway is that elves worshipped demons? Well, they never call them that, yeah? But that's what it had to be. I mean, it was impressive and all. Makes the Dalish look like tits for living in the woods, but so what? There can't be a bunch of gods, and the Maker. Don't matter how much or little you believe, those don't fit. So call me stupid, but I believe the stuff not made up by dead people who failed. Mithal is a ruin full of demons. I mean, it just makes sense, right? There's so much history there. What if some of it is true? Frigg, you're going elfy. What? It's when fairy stories make your ears droop for lost glory. But glory squats in the woods and smells like Haller ass. Oh, I knew it was coming. Knew I shouldn't start to like you. I said it, right? This doesn't fit. It can't fit. I'm not elfy. So say you're kidding, and we can go back to our weird enough normal. Please, Buckles. You'd really end our relationship over what I think of some ruins. Maybe I don't believe much or understand it, but some people think too much and can bend anything to fit anything. <laughs> some things just don't fit. Yes, you can explain it, and no, I won't get it. But I don't care. Some things don't fit. So take it back. Just say you'd rather look ahead. That's all. You're right. A temple full of nonsense. You and I, we don't need it. Friggin' right we don't. Confusing bunch of... You know what we need? How about we go someplace alive and live? Can't find that in a hole in the ground. Oh, you. Not you. Not now. Sarah? Sarah! I don't want to talk. Go away. I said go. Away. But what is... I saw you dead. You led all of this right up Kariffy shit's face, and then the Herald went home to Andras Day. It was last night, clear as anything, even with eyes shut. You, in the void, gone. I can't see it again. I can't be with you and see that again. Then I'm sorry for what I didn't do in that thing you imagined. Right, like you have any say. There's holes leaking the fade. Dreamland all over the place. Dreams show stuff. Stuff I don't want to think about, which is hard because I want to think about you. A lot. You don't act like nobles. I love that. You don't hide. I love that. Maybe you can take or leave cookies. Fine. Still love that. And you're not too elfy. Surprise, I can love that. But seeing this really hurt. I'm fighting to make things better and learn truth and shit, and it just keeps getting scarier. I know you don't care about words, but that was a lot of love you just let slip. Well, thank you, old lady smarty pants, turning it all around to show me what I really want. But so what? You're special. Who else is special? Divines, yeah. Wardens, too. 
Heralds will be different. So yes, love. Lots of it. Who cares against all of everything? It's because I love you that everything had better watch out. It's you and me against it all. Unless you're not up for it. We really need a bigger gap between fighting and kissing. <laughs> so, never going to die? <laughs> right, love is so much better. So, think you'd make a good divine? Victorious, I see. What a novel result. And you managed not to kill yourself. That's something. Finally got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. Shame it couldn't be for everyone, Corifus sack hurt. But I suppose... I suppose that would be everyone. Piss. Imagine the line for drinks. Anyway, shake every hand, Lady Herald of Andraste. You're why they're here. Andraste's whatever couldn't have done any of this without you. Well, I could have, but it wouldn't have been half as fun. Fun? You're a loony. My loony. Hurry up with the others. I'll show you something else you can't do without me. Me? You can't do me without me? Just hurry up. Hey, you. Told you I wasn't done with you. Think you can sneak away? We're going upstairs, everybody. We'll be a while. Might need some warm-up. Not much. Buckles? Still you, yeah? I mean, they still say things about you. All that Herald stuff. But this feels really good. Like it always could. I just need you to stay you. You ground me, Sarah. As long as you're here, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> it's pretty, yeah? We did that. Here's you and everyone. Glad to be back all stuffed together with the pressure full on again. Don't worry, Herald of Everywhere. I came prepared. I know what everyone needs. Just like best times. I expected a roof. It's early. Anyway, that was a good run. It's all been a good run. I needed that. And I need... You know it's ending, right? We can say it won't, but knobs in places like this. All they do is end things. Even I can tell and I'm... No, I won't be stupid anymore. Um, I wrote it down so I wouldn't... So I can just tell you, and it's done. Sarah, if you're worried about something, you should just tell me. Eight, nine, ten. Is she done talking? Continue. I like new, but hate change. But I can't stop it this time. Usually, I hope it doesn't matter, because lots of times I feel I've seen things before. So who cares? It'll all come round again. 
but every day, I've never felt this with her. And if it's always only once, then I can't... Um, I didn't... <laughs> the rest is just sketches. There's flowers, and I think it's your butt. So... Marry me? I mean, it's <laughs> whatever, but you and me are somehow really, really good. And all these endings can get right off that. Really, Buckles? For real? Want to get married? You... Uh, that's done for titles and heirs. Contracts have nothing to do with love. That's what they say, and they can have it. I don't want their thing. I want ours. And I know it's true. That's what this was all about, yeah? Knowing what's true. Besides, you're the Inquisitor. Which of them will tell you no? You're a loony. Tell me, do. That's a yes? All the yeses. Every freaking one. <laughs> <laughs> Bells, nobbers, we friggin' win! <laughs>
My agents have found nothing. With the Illuvians, he could be anywhere. With the Inquisition officially disbanded, we have no army, no formal alliances. We have what we truly need. <sighs> we will need to be careful. Solus knows everything about us. Who we are, how we work, our strengths and weaknesses. Then we find people he doesn't know. We will stop Solus by any means necessary.